That's Hadley. And he charges him, he bowls him. A slower delivery from Hadley. He oh, you love him, we hate him. If he was, if he was Australian, we'd all love him. But uh, because he's from New Zealand, we all hated him. But he, he was obviously one of the best ever and not the best that played for New Zealand. Well, he was the best that played for New Zealand, but on top of that, he was one of the best ever. And when you talk about great cricketers, if you don't mention his name in the best ever that's played, um, there's something wrong. It's going to be Hadley from the members end to a very attacking field. Three slips, short leg and a gully. Hadley the ball. There's the hook shot, it's in the air. And Ewan Chatfield has taken the catch. A brilliant catch at fine leg. Good. He's gone. Quarters hit it, he's out. First ball after lunch, he's driven on the up to cover. He's gone, yes, beautiful piece of bowling. The talk before the game was how far Australia. And everyone just thought that Australia were gonna win uh, that comfortably. And, I suppose Richard Hadley had other ideas. Oh, oh and that's got to be very close. I would say that's out, yes. Oh, and right through him. Clean bowl. Oh, and he's gone through Phillips as well. It's gone. Great catch. Best figures ever for Richard Hadley. 8 for 52. He got 15 wickets at the Gabba, and he bowled magnificently, and it was the perfect Richard Hadley pitch. A little bit of movement there, and he just he found his spot, and then he just kept hammering away on that spot. He got nine, and if I recall correctly, he caught the tenth guy off um, a guy called Vaughan Brown, an off-spinner. Uh, so he caught the, the tenth fellow, but it was magnificent bowling. It was magnificent line and length bowling when there was a bit there. That's when Richard was absolutely at his best. Bowling, to my way of thinking, is all about uh, rhythm, timing and coordination and off the shorter run I've managed to um, you know, really sort of produce that and uh, the result of course is uh, getting wickets at the other end. Oh, he's got him! He must be really licking his lips at the moment, looking forward to his 281st wicket in tests. And he's got him right through him and that makes it six in the second innings, 15 for the match and New Zealand have won by an innings and 41 runs. A very happy New Zealand team, their first ever victory on Australian uh, soil. He responded very well to challenges. I, I know that he, he sort of saw Dennis Lilly as the number one in the world uh, when he was sort of uh, not far behind Lilly. And uh, I know they had some great battles, particularly with Lilly bowling. And Richard used to like to whack him. I think he whacked him down the ground for six once. And he may well have got his first Test 100 yeah, against Australia, I think, with Lily Bowling. And I, I think and you'll find end. that that would have given uh, Richard quite a lot of satisfaction because he really did like to, uh, to annoy Dennis. Again, these two competitors are really at it, and uh, Hadley now bowling a Dennis Lilly short run job when Dennis is ready, of course. Oh, well bowled. Yes, Richard Hadley seven, Dennis Lilly three. You're allotting points out of ten. It's in the air, oh, it's dropped. Hit back like a tracer bullet straight at Hadley, hit him midriff and Lily laughing. Well, he was a bit like Lily. I mean, Lily was a tear away to start with, and then hurt his back, and then really relied on uh, on on rhythm and hitting the seam and uh, and doing all the things that, that great fast bowlers do. I think Hadley did exactly the same thing. Uh, he was a tear away, and then he went to England, and you couldn't bowl fast every day in England. And I think he learnt the uh, the art of bowling miserly and uh, and just doing enough and he was a great bowler Richard I mean just a great bowler make no mistakes oh what a delivery what a beautiful delivery went over the top of middle and leg vessels didn't offer a shot he was a phenomenal technician he was extremely disciplined had enormous control over himself and what he could do with the ball um, 
and being a Kiwi, conditions tend to seem a little bit more there. Uh, he was just a, a phenomenal man. He not only carried a team in real terms, but he carried a nation. Um, and to see him knighted, I think, is a just reward. He gone, yes, nine wickets. What a wonderful performance from Richard Hadley. One of the all-time great performances at the Gabba. His teammates must congratulate the great fast bowler and what a privilege it has been to watch that performance. Line, length, experience, and beautiful control.